Hey everyone, Tony D with a Piney Podcast. Um, all right, let's get into it. Beer virus cases, uh, two to three hundred mark. Basically, all the numbers continue to go down, including the one number that Phil Murphy, tyrant Phil Murphy, was counting on, the transmission rate, which has now dropped below one to like 0.98, which he acknowledges, so uh, how couldn't he? Uh, is the one number he was clinging to. Oh, continue to be bad number, so that way I can lock down the state again. <clears throat> he was already making noise about uh, canceling the school year. Look, uh, you could um, certainly keep the kids learning from a computer, but how about refunding a little of that uh, tax money, that property tax money, since you're not spending it on schools if everybody's going to stay home? And you're going to save a ton of money on not using the buildings? Yeah, right. Good luck getting that money. Um, Phil's latest plan, he had a bunch of lawyers take a look at the tax incentives in New Jersey. And he's decided it would be a good idea to cap the tax incentives to save New Jersey money. That's not how taxes work. You're not saving New Jersey money by capping a tax break. What you're doing is you're assuming that businesses won't leave, that that money belongs to the state and not the businesses, and that they'll be around to pay it. Remember when AOC went after Amazon in New York and she said, oh, the city's giving away millions of dollars to Amazon. No. What the city was doing was offering the Amazon tax breaks in order to come to the city and do business, create jobs, and create more wealth for the city. A AOC managed to help drive that out of Manhattan or Brooklyn or wherever they were going to have their headquarters. Now they don't get any of the money. They don't get the taxes they would have gotten because not only do they does Amazon not get the tax breaks, they don't have to pay any taxes. They don't have a building there. They didn't build it. Same thing applies with capping New Jersey tax breaks. Now, it's not going to be as bad if you're just capping a tax break. Obviously, if you're under the, under the cap, you don't care. You're getting the same tax break you would have, so those businesses will stay. But for a business that was going to save much, much more and was expecting more, they're going to go, oh, you're capping the tax break? Okay, we'll move to Delaware then. That's what they'll do, which means... In the long run, you're actually going to collect less in taxes, which means this is an idea where you actually lose money. Not surprising, another Democrat who doesn't understand economics, even though he came out of Goldman Sachs. I guess he only counts the money that goes into his pocket and not the money that would go to the state. I guess he thinks he can force businesses to stay in New Jersey or something. Well, he can't. Um, once again, recall Phil Murphy. In other news, uh, big storms here in South Jersey. Big storms. We had a tropical storm. I think it's called Tropical Storm Fay, Hit the coast and uh, southern half of New Jersey, if not all, all the way up at least to... I was in central Jersey today. It was storming pretty bad. Um, sheets and sheets of rain. Rain all day today. Flash flooding. So beware of that. It's going to happen again tomorrow. So if you are in South Jersey, Pineys, be careful driving out there. It's going to get nasty. It got so nasty, it flooded the river line along the Delaware River, and they had to close down the train. Uh, that's a train that runs uh, up and down the uh, bank of the Delaware River on the other side of Philadelphia. So <clears throat> that's about all that's going on in New Jersey. Um, uh, hopefully... We're going to get through this. Hopefully, I was driving past a lot of restaurants because I was I was starving at lunch and I wanted to stop someplace to get something to eat, but I couldn't stop anywhere because it was raining so hard. Like, you know, the places that were open or that could have outdoor dining, I mean, you couldn't eat under the tent. The rain was coming right underneath it. It, I, I, it was a shame. I could see the tables getting blown over and the, the tablecloths and whatnot. Uh, probably probably a mess to clean up after it was all over. But it's going to be that way tomorrow. So I guess we won't have any outdoor dining. I guess we can't have any nice outdoor any uh, restaurants unless the weather's nice now because of 
you know, everything has to be shut down for the beer virus. Everything has to be shut down because Tyrant King Murphy wants to make sure Donald Trump's not reelected in November. Ask yourself this, Governor Murphy, is it really worth your political career?